This market is called Seven Street Market. When we are traveling, one of my favorite places to visit are the open air markets. In Santa Cruz, the main markets are where the locals come to buy everything they need for their home and family. They can find all the fresh produce, fresh meat and dairy products, and everything they need, including furniture. The stalls in the market range from being completely open on the street to some having covers on them. Others are inside buildings with storefronts. Each stall is packed with neatly organized products and the vendors are really friendly and not pushy. We walked into a building that Hilton said looked like a traditional market or what the markets used to look like. In there, there were food products, cleaning products, and everything you need for your home. At the food counter, there were big blocks of cheese and cartons of eggs and some of the traditional breads. We walked past fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, 10 Bolivian. Contains 12 for 10 Bolivian. That's a good price. <laughs> As we walked through the market, there were even more food products right next to the cleaning supplies, mops and brooms, and anything else you'd need, including toothpaste and shampoo. We walked into the area with all the clothing where the vendors have their tables piled high with clothes and they have racks of clothes hanging all around. I was really impressed by the shoe section. There were so many shoes in this one area, like floor to ceiling shoes, as far as you could see. We walked into another area that had lots of bolts of fabric that you can buy to have clothes made. There are so many new foods and drinks for the kids and I to try when we're in Bolivia. Emily had heard it? about drinking soda out of a bag and wanted to try it. <laughs> it's not dripping. It's dripping water. It's just water from the outside. I hope beer is like... <laughs> this is amazing. Come <laughs> on! Well, there you go. Is it everything you ever dreamed of? Is it harder or easier to drink? It's okay, kind of weird because at first it like almost bubbles up. And I was eating soda a lot more fun. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Okay, first of all, I need to eat Very satisfying. Second of all, it's like... And you don't have to unscrew it, so like your hands are full. It's <laughs> more pochinchi. In a bag. Who are you going to try? Yeah, there's like, like peach tea or something. Peach tea, cinnamon. Oh, that's Emily loves to shop for shoes. So when we were in the market, she wanted to go into a shoe store to check out the shoes. Yeah, Nike's up on Oregon. Six, six. 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 Like every... Wait, that's in, in, in America, yeah. these are like $250. Emily's trying to figure out if the shoes are real or not. Because they are made in Beaverton, Oregon, so. She's our shoe expert. She can what? spot a fake easy from 50 meters away. No, 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 wait a minute. The main markets in Santa Cruz all have pretty much the same thing, the household items that you need. But if you're looking for a particular item or something different, you may have to go to a different market. One morning we went in to Santa Cruz to the Los Pozos market looking for outdoor chairs. They didn't have a big selection, but it was right next to where all the barber shops were. So Hilton and Thule got haircuts. That's the best haircut you've had in a long time. Next, we went to the La Ramada Market where they had a bigger selection of outdoor furniture. Nice. I wasn't sure how we were going to get all those chairs home, but they tied them to the top of the car. On another day, when we were with the family, we stopped at a different market that looked more like a traditional store. This is La Feria de Barrio Lindo. We're gonna be looking for folding tables. It's like a container store. <laughs> it does look like it. Yeah. 
like a container store. And there we got folding tables and chairs. And again, we had to figure out how we were gonna get all those chairs and tables home with everybody that was with us. And the debate continues. And we're all set to go. Hilton's family take room temperature showers, but I like to take hot showers. So I asked Hilton if there was any way we could get warmer water. Since Hilton has a knack for fixing things, we went to the hardware market to get a new shower head. In the market, the stalls were all packed full of products and there were people pushing around carts selling ice cream and sweets and treats to the vendors and the people in the market. On one of the Sundays we were in Santa Cruz, we went to the town of Catoca. Catoca is about 20 kilometers east of Santa Cruz. Around the plaza is the market where they sell pottery, jewelry, pictures, hammocks, and so many other things. In the market there are lots of the traditional breads and sweets and treats. In the main food market you can buy all the traditional food and just being in there is an experience. The air is filled with smoke from all the individual little cooking stalls where they're making the yummy traditional food. The kids sampled a local treat and we also bought some of the traditional candy. Katoka is mainly known for the traditional food, but they're also well known for their handmade pottery. In contrast to an open air market, we went to a chain grocery store, the Hyper Maxi, I was curious to see what products that they had that were unique to Santa Cruz and Bolivia. Wow. It's big in here. Oh, the toy section. Oh, kind of like a Walmart. No wonder this place is always big. Yeah. Yeah, more bug spray, please. Your dog food section than we have. Get us crackers. And cookies. It's a mystery fruit. Yaka. We had to ask what it was. Big. <laughs> Yaka. Have you ever had it? I think so. Yeah? It is a banana, but I prefer this. These are guineos. Nails are small little bananas. Yeah? Are they uh, sweet? They are sweet. They are very tasty. What is that? Maybe it's pakai. Okay. Do you eat the seeds, I'm guessing? Well, it's a seed that you can see. It's like a gigantic, what, green beans? Okay, we're looking for candy that you can get here that we can't get in the States to try. These are just a few of the markets that we visited in Santa Cruz. As you can see, the markets are pretty laid back in Bolivia. The vendors don't pressure you to buy and the stalls and areas are organized and you can easily go from one section to the next to find what you need. And the prices are very affordable. I look forward to visiting more markets the next time we are in Santa Cruz. Yeah.